case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In United States v. White, a 1978 case heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit, the court focused on the requirements to prove a conspiracy, stipulating that there must be an agreement between two or more people to commit a crime against the United States, and one or more of them must take a step to advance the plan. The case centered around husband and wife Philip and Claudel White, who were convicted of heroin-related charges. Both received a sentence of 15 years and a 15-year special parole term for conspiracy, with Philip given an additional six-year sentence for heroin possession. The Whites challenged their conspiracy convictions, arguing insufficient evidence as their case was reliant on the work of two DEA agents and a confidential informant. The informant had purchased heroin from Williams, whom they believed was selling on Claudel's behalf. The informant later bought small amounts of heroin from Philip and discussed becoming a dealer for him. Based on the informant's testimony, Philip was convicted of heroin possession, with the court ruling that the chain of custody for the heroin was sufficient. The DEA agent's efforts played a crucial role in obtaining the convictions. However, the court ultimately overturned the conspiracy convictions of Philip and Claudel White due to insufficient evidence. Philip's heroin possession conviction remained upheld. The case was remanded to the district court with instructions to dismiss the conspiracy charges, resulting in a decision that was partially affirmed, reversed, and remanded. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.